Hello, I am Douglas Stewart, the author of Shaggy Bain. Uh, this reading selection comes from the very heart of the novel. Agnes Bain is a single mother who has not been on a date in many years and has asked her youngest son, uh, Shaggy, to show her how kids today dance. As Shaggy is dancing around the front room with abandon, uh, we come to realise that he has been watched from outside. Brilliant. What a smooth mover, she said. He was enjoying her attention. Something inside him flowered and he started popping his body like he'd seen the black boys on telly do. The self-consciousness left him and he spun and shimmied and shook in all the telly ways. He was mid-cat's leap when he let out a sharp scream. It was high-pitched and womanly. Shuggy stood with fingers outstretched, frozen in time. He hadn't seen them at first, and he would never know how long they'd been there. Across the street, in the window of their front room, stood the Machiavennis. They pressed against the large glass window and they were gutting themselves with laughter. The window throbbed as they beat their hands against it with glee. Dirty Mouse did a little sexy girlish pirouette and Shuggy realised that was him. He looked at his mother. When had she noticed? She only looked up at him and took a draw on her fag. Without looking out the window, she spoke through clenched teeth. If I were you, I would keep dancing. I can't. The tears were coming. You know they only win if you let them. I can't. His arms and fingers were still outstretched and frozen like a dead tree. Don't give them the satisfaction. Mummy, help, I can't. Yes, you can. She was still smiling. Just hold your head up high and gee it loudy. She was no use at maths homework. And some days you could starve rather than get a hot meal from her. But Shuggy looked at her now and understood this was where she excelled. Every day, with the makeup on and the hair done, she climbed out of her grave and held her head high. When she had disgraced herself with drink, she got up the next day, put on her best coat and faced the world. When her belly was empty and her wains were hungry, she did her hair and let the world think otherwise. It was hard at first to start moving again, to feel the music, to go to that other place in your head where you keep your confidence. It didn't go together, the shuffling feet and the jangly limbs, but like a slow train, it caught speed and soon he was flying again.